What's up, guys? Today we have ourselves here a Tucson. This is Tucson knives from China. This knife we have here is the TS230. Again, TS230. This is a Vincent Oliver design. Um, made in China. Uh, it took a very long time to get. I uh, got this guy through eBay. They do sell them on some sites online, but um, I think it'd be coming from eBay anyways. Or, I mean, excuse me, China. And they'll be shipping out there from here. Or shipping from there to here, excuse me. Um, originally, when I purchased this, it was beginning of July. And I don't know what happened with the mailing or what's going on, but um, they never sent it out. So I re-emailed re them mid-August, and the guy emailed me back. And he gave me a new tracking number, a new ship date for August 20th. And I finally got it. Today's September 8th. I got I got it on September 8th. So it took a good two and a half or close to three weeks after the initial shipping or tracking number was issued. But originally it was supposed to be July and had this sooner. But uh, here we have it finally now. And um, let's get started. Again, this is the 230, the TS model. Uh, it doesn't have anything on here on the box that labels which model you have besides just Tucson. And let's start with it. So it comes in a slide out case. And the knife. No instruction manual or anything like that. Looks like it's just sealed up in some bubble wrap stuff. Uh, let's get started with this. Yeah, I was pretty excited to finally get it. Uh, it took a very long time. I must have went back and forth a few times with the guy. And then um, finally was able to get a uh, tracking number. He was very good, fast with it. I mean, he knew, um, I guess the original one didn't get sent out. So he asked if I wanted a full refund or if I just wanted it shipped out again. And I just asked him to just send another one out because I really wanted to get my hands on this. Uh, it was through eBay. But they currently have it going for like... 60 to 80 bucks, I think. Um, I want it, I, I want it on an eBay bid for a pretty good price, under $60. Uh, I'm gonna say like mid 50 something. And um, then after that, I started seeing it go up for like high 60s to 80s. So I was like, oh, I don't even want to deal with uh, bidding again in case I end up having to pay more. So I just asked him to just ship me back out another one for the same price instead of giving a refund and starting over again. But yeah, so far this thing is like, this bag is super oily. I can feel the oil on there and you can probably see the oil on there too. Look at that. So you at least know that your, your blade is not going to be coming to your rusted. That's, that's one thing that's good. So I'm going to start with wiping it off first. Uh, very, very oily. Uh, doesn't feel too heavy. Uh, I have read some complaints about how heavy this guy is. Uh, online it labels it um, through eBay it says it's uh, 123 grams I have a scale here so let's get started on that part so far just looking at it, it looks pretty nice small um, definitely happy I finally have it now let's get started with this guy again guys if you're just tuning in or skipping ahead we have ourselves TS230 Let's see. Oh, first time opening. Feels very, very good. Some more on there. Yeah, I got this model because um, I really like the Tiger logo on there. And uh, this is my first Tucson knife. I did make a bid on a TS-136, but uh, luckily I didn't win because I started reading about it afterwards. I was trying to go for the, the carbon fiber M390 version, but uh, I got outbid it last minute, so... I'm glad that happened because I, I didn't read good things about it afterwards. But yeah, there's a few other videos of this guy up there online. Um, I just wanted to get my hands on one. Very nice off the bat. This is using some ball bearings. Uh, they're ceramic ball bearings. I'm going to show you guys the blade here. This is in uh, the metal here is um, 14C28N. And again, this is Tucson TS230. Here's the Tucson logo. And the tiger right there. I think that's the Vincent Oliver logo right here. The tiger. Awesome. Uh, very smooth off the bat. Um, I really like it so far. You can probably do a, a thumbs up. Uh, 
Thumb flick. Spotty flick. Uh, let's let's uh let's get some paper. See how this guy goes. Look sharp. Oh yeah, it's sharp, guys. Yeah, that's that's super sharp. Even eBay under other, it just says very sharp. That's funny. So let's get measuring with some dimensions on here. So we have ourselves full length on this guy is going to be six and a quarter. Yeah, six and a quarter. And then the blade here, cutting length is going to be two and a half. Full blade is uh, two seven five. And the handle itself is going to be almost four inches. And yeah, so far, um, just looking at it, it's my first Tucson. It handles very nice so far. It's very smooth, just without needing any work in here. Feels good. Um, for those of you guys online, um, so. If I put my finger on this, I could run my nail against it. I definitely feel the traction on this. I've seen some online where um, what I'm planning to do is maybe sand this part all the way down so it's uh, nice and smooth, but I'm still debating if I want to do that on this knife or not. Uh, this is the 230 model. Um, again, if you guys have watched my earlier videos, the numbers 230 mean something to me. That's why I wanted to get this. And plus, uh, Tiger is awesome. Love how they have the... Uh, pivot screw here looks very nice uh, this is a frame lock titanium handles titanium backspacer and it's flushed here so if you want to do a lanyard it'd be through here if you didn't want to it looks very nice without too this is a thumb flick or a spidey flick there's no back part right here just flick which is pretty, you know, not too bad. Um, some other stuff I read about Tucson knives were that since they didn't have a backspacer or the the bars in the back were very light, what happened was when people were putting their hand in their pocket, they would cut themselves along here because there was no protection. But here, there's a protection. Uh, I can barely, if I push really hard, I can probably feel my finger touch the blade. But um, that's like, you know, but this, you know, if this is in your pocket, it's going to be, tip up right so that's not likely happening where you cut yourself but for the ts3 uh ts136 a lot of reviews talked about how they put their finger in there they come back out super bleeding so you never want that with a knife because that's a safety issue guys okay uh, so far very nice feels good with the cholo there um handle a good purchase on the blade uh, four fingers or you want to have it at this angle with your thumb out there. Or even if you want to have a finger test, which works perfect too. But yeah, so far, this guy's nice. I'm very, uh, very happy I got this. I had a long day at work. Finally got home, saw a package sitting on the floor, and I'm like, I am not expecting any packages. And there you go, I forgot about the, uh, the package from China. I'm happy to get. Uh, let's throw this guy in the scale and see how much it weighs for you guys. So, it's going to be 4.3 ounces. A little heavy. Honestly, it doesn't feel like it when you're holding it. It feels very light to me. Uh, but 4.3 ounces. Again, it's a blade is a 14 C28N. Uh, let's see how it balances. Not super centered. Maybe a little bit. No, not super centered. You're probably looking about like right there. Ooh. Don't want to cut myself there. It's not too bad. So far, I'm digging it. Uh, very nice light. I very like it. I like it very much. Um, no jimping on here at all, except for this part right here on the backspacer, but um, doesn't need too much jimping, I guess. Uh, it might look cool if they did have it, but um, so far, loving how the blade style, just beautiful. Uh, again, um, I, I have been hearing nothing but good things about Tucson, and 
a lot of stuff in the modding world where they fix knives and stuff. Uh, there's a lot of Tucson out there just because it's uh, affordable pricing. They're not cheap, they're just inexpensive. And uh, titanium handles stuff where people want to work on. Um, when I actually originally purchased this, I didn't know it was um, a little bumpy here. I thought it was just going to be a smooth texture, but I'm okay with that. Uh, you can barely tell holding it. You can't even tell at all unless you're looking for it, you know. And I love how the handle looks. I love how the blade looks here just off the bat. And let me throw it up next to some other tiny guys that um, I can show you guys. So this is the uh, Odium. It's one of my newer knives. You see my past videos about the same size here. And then we'll put it up next to a, what does anybody out there have? Here's a squid. There. A little smaller. I have a PLR, but it's in my backpack, and I don't feel like getting my backpack right now. I guess I can show you guys another Asian made knife. This is the Wee Knife Banter. You guys want to see the size wise for that. And I'll just do another quick um, scale comparison for you guys right here. I mean, uh, measure, excuse me. Let's turn off my scale and I said scale. So, with the ODM, full length, six and a quarter. Full length for the Wii. Banter, six and a half for this guy. Six and a quarter. This guy, a little more than five and a half. You see there, um, not too bad so far. Uh, I honestly, I'm very happy I got this. Um, I'm not. I knew about the weight, per, you know, while purchasing this. I knew it'd be a little heavier than normal, uh, than my normal knives, and I was okay with that. Um, sacrificing for the titanium handles. Um, it's a thick titanium. Um, you know, this is an Odium. This guy's like half G10 and half stainless steel. But I wanted to get in there a little flashlight for you guys to take a peek at too, in case some of you were wondering. So there goes the little ball. The D10 ball with the frame lock. Uh, could be happier with a little bit more, a uh, little more lockup, I guess. This is not too bad still. Uh, this is like what? Very light. Uh, I'm guessing the screw here might help you loosen that part, but um, so far, uh, blade centered. Um, doesn't look like anything too worrisome right now, just because uh, I'm not feeling any blade play at all. Um, yeah, the lockup's not a thick one. Probably got 20% uh, of the bar, I'd say, maybe. Maybe a little less. Barely tell. Uh, that's the lockup for it. And then if you want to see the other end of the blade, um, looks like from inside, just the frame looking at it, they didn't do any kind of shaving inside the frame to do any kind of lightening up on this. Um, I guess if you're a machinist or you have the tools for it, you can maybe do it yourself to bring down the weight for this guy. But inside, there's no additional milling out uh, to hollow the, the handles. Um, again, this is all titanium. So far, I'm really happy with it. It's smooth, just out of the box. You guys have seen me unwrap this guy. Just super oiled up, um, just spotty flick, hasn't gone wrong once. Uh, the handle purchase feels great. The blade just looks awesome. Um, kind of wish it didn't come in a 14C28N. Uh, um, was hoping they might make it like a 390 uh, uh, M390 version of this, um, just because it's so beautiful. But uh, most of the Tucson knives, you notice, um, if you do find one where it comes in a cheaper or less expensive steel, they'll end up um, doing an M390 version of it with a little different variation of looks. Like again, if you guys were to look at the TS136, they have two carbon fiber versions of it. The, the actual carbon fiber weaving one would be the cheaper steel one. I think it's S35VN, I'm not sure. And then um, the carbon fiber where it's like a marbled carbon fiber look or flaky, I guess. I don't know how to describe it, but that would be the M390 version. So you can't really tell. You can't really tell that often if you're looking, but um, most of the Tucson knives, they come in two variations. So I'm hoping they might release a better blade for this. But um, so far, uh, I'm really digging this. Um, sorry if I'm rambling, guys. I just wanted to 
talk about how much I liked it. I, I don't have too many pr uh, cons about this besides maybe like the little bit heavier and I could go about this. I can go without this little weaving part, but hey, they got to do something different for their knives, right? So again, guys, this is the Tucson TS230. Again, TS230. And this is MRII Toys. That's my Instagram. If you guys want to take some, take a look at some photos and like some other people, um, jump on the Instagram, check out my stuff. It's MRII Toys. Shoot me a message. Let me know you're coming from there. Give me a like and subscribe. Um, hit that subscribe button at the bottom or the like button. Uh, if you don't like it, you know, leave in the comments. Let me know what you don't like about the video and maybe I'll try not adding it in the next one. But just trying to do a little better for everybody. Um, hoping you guys like my content and um, hope to come back and, you know, show you guys some more cool stuff. Uh, just stay tuned. Got more stuff on the way. I'm just waiting for the mail postage and, yeah. Hope you guys like this and stay tuned for more. Stay sharp, guys.